Alright folks, hello, welcome to the next part of Let's Play Romance of the Three Kingdoms 2 with Han Zhan, but probably with Huang Zhang would be a better term because we killed him off right at the beginning, which was a super good move. Now let me remember what the hell I was doing because uh, I went to sleep between now and then. This is a new day. And uh, things are looking good, but wow, look at that Sao Sao. He is just a blob of death and destruction, is he not? Uh, but we're gonna fix his wagon. And I mean really fix his wagon in just a bit here. But first, let's see if we can buy some arms. Very good. Do a little bit of training. And I think things will be going well. We have uh, some of the best provinces in the game. We have all the provinces of Jing Zhao, except for one. So let's go ahead uh, and continue our expansion. We gotta keep making incursions, but now our planned incursions against Cao Cao, or against uh, Lu, uh, Lu Zhang over there, that would be actually not incursions, they would be actually us trying to gain territory, are now simply, uh, what are they? They're attacks, just regular, we're gonna friggin' attack. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. Um, so 20, I'd really like to dislodge him from 20. But maybe it's best to hit 31. Either way, unfortunately, they've got this counterpunch type situation here uh, to where if we invade with too many forces, we'll be left bereft of defenses in Province 21. So this is a no-brainer here. Not a no-brainer, but this would be easy. Gu Yi, he's got no war ability. He's got no war abilities. Yang Hu is not so bad, but he's got no loyalty. they got no arms. Province 31 is a plum that could easily be plucked. Okay? And then, let's see, what do they got here? This is a tougher plum. But they've split their forces. And also, as far as actual troop power here, it's not too much. In fact, I might be able, with 600 troops here, to kind of split my offensive in two and kick both of them out of those uh, districts and then also not leave myself any new fronts. Now let's look at our forces here. They're pretty well prepared, except for gosh darn Mifong. And also, I think Mifan's a backstabber. He might be. I don't know. And I don't know about Zushu's um, loyalty, if he will actually betray me or not. I seem to believe he won't, but then I seem to believe he also will. <laughs> so that, of course, is of no help to anyone. All right, I need to get Mifan uh, armed up. Okay. Anyway, yeah, you know, I had some very uh, pleasant... Uh, surprise when I woke up this morning and I saw that a number of people have actually watched my videos for whatever reason Th this videos so people like to watch me play romance of three kingdoms too uh, I'll be honest I have no idea why this is not a very interesting game to watch and certainly if you wanted to watch me play like a war strategy game I would think liberty or death would be more interesting because the subject matter is a little bit more familiar to us Americans which I imagine who's watching it because I'm speaking American English aren't I uh, <laughs> and then also and then again, you never know. Maybe somebody's using me for language practice. Alright. Oh, we got a turn where we can do stuff? Because uh, that would be great. Look at this. Just look how jacked we are. It's absolutely awesome. Yeah, okay, cool. Good, we can do stuff this turn. Um, so what I would like to do is actually I'd like to stay here for a turn. I'm going to move these other guys up from District 3 in here. And then we're going to start expanding out. We are going to attack into Province 1, like right now. But I'm not going to do it in force. Because I'm going to leave. I'm going to have Zhang Fei and his son Zhang Bao go in there. He'll be in charge. A shitty governor. Uh, but whatever. And we're just going to go in there and uh, tear shit up. Not tear shit up, we're going to go conquer it. The problem is we actually have to clean this guy out. Which I'm not... Is that uh, Gong Sun Yu? Who's here? Yeah, we'll suggest a personal combat. You don't have guys who can stack up with us. That's a free few. Uh, Jaying Yik. Uh, Jaying Yik. I think he's in the 70s as far as war ability goes. But yeah, I really appreciate that you guys like watching this, although I'm absolutely mystified as to why anybody would want to watch this. Uh, but thanks a lot for watching. Um, you might notice I don't monetize any of my videos. I'm not doing this to make any money. I just kind of enjoy this. Uh, I mostly do it for language practice, which is why so many of my videos are in poor Russian. Or, uh, I would uh, brag a little bit about myself and say, in damn good Farsi. 
uh, and okay and serviceable. Um, serviceable, what's that other language? Pashtu, right? So my, my Farsi and Pashtun one's pretty good. Russian, probably not so good. Russian's such a complicated, nasty, nasty language. But it's a good way to practice. I end up learning a lot of unique vocabulary from doing these. So I do these for my own enjoyment, guys. I really like that you watch them, but I'm not making any money off this, so... Uh, and no, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna use that as a segue to beg you to, like, give me money. There's no way to give me money. I don't have a Patreon. I don't have any of that stuff. I don't want any of this. I have a job. I, I make very good money at what I do. And, uh, I am very happy, uh, that you watch this. And I hope, I hope it brings back nice memories for you. Or whatever. I don't know if it inspires you to read this book. Because the, the, and unfortunately now I gotta, I gotta do a complete kill. Because he's, he's, uh, he's backed into a corner. He can't actually surrender. I mean, in real life, surrendering would have, uh, pretty good, uh, oh, he's got plenty of rice. Anyway, um. In real life, surrendering would be his best move right now to save the lives of his troops, but in this game, they're just numbers. I mean, it's not like you don't really suffer from losing a lot of troops other than you gotta buy more. You know, it's uh, kinda nasty to think about, really. Uh, so in any case, yeah, I gotta keep nailing this guy till he goes down to zero, which is kinda lame and it's gonna take a while and it's gonna take us a number of troops. Uh, so what the hell are we talking about? Oh yeah, I don't make any money off this. I don't need the money, uh, I don't know, perhaps, no, I don't think I'd ever have enough viewers to have anybody who'd like actually want to uh, who'd be making more than like a dollar or something. <laughs> I mean, it's it's pretty sad, uh, but it's not it's not a thing. I like uh, I'm happy you like this. Like I said, if you played this as a kid, like I did, I hope it brings back good memories. I hope maybe I know some of the inside baseball that you maybe were not aware of. I've so I certainly have seen some of that reading the game facts for this, uh, especially about the uh, predilections or the uh, nature of certain generals, whether they're Shu, Wei, or uh, Wu. Not that I wouldn't know which is which, but that I, I didn't know this whole predilection system existed, and that, uh, oh, Jesus, Louisa, That's crap. Zhang Fei is gonna get a horrible butt kicking from this. Eek, terrible. Because it's the last thing I want is to lose a bunch of troops. I probably should have seen that coming. Oh, and now it's going to go the other way. All right, I have to move him. I wanted to also charge him to see if we could charge to uh, finish the battle there. But since he caught on fire, the same thing happened to him. All right. Now we're not so bad. But yeah, Jiang Yik is really, and I know that's probably not how you say it, but I do enjoy saying that because his name ends in a Q, which... Oh, thank God we've got a very little space. Look at that blaze. It is really just spread. Uh, but yeah, I, you know, I don't know how people can make uh, their, uh, what's his name, their income off this exactly. Well, I know if they're real popular, but I imagine that would suck because your livelihood is connected to your ability to put out videos on YouTube. And, uh, you know, fame, fame is highly fickle, you know, like whether somebody will watch you, whether they won't watch you. Is based on maybe factors that you can't control, uh, or maybe you can control them, but you can't control them. In that, like maybe you have like certain political views that you just can't. Oh gosh, dang it! That you just can't. Man, this guy is causing massive casualty. We got the money to replace the troops. Kill him. Thank you. Oh, yeah, and we did actually kill him. I'd rather not have killed him because I'd rather have him govern the province when I'm gone. Uh, but yeah, people might like want to spout off their political views, which may oh, he'd be a good governor, which may or may not be uh, popular, and that could lose you your your viewers. And you probably you might not even have known you said something that was uh, offensive, or maybe you did. I don't know. You know, it's it's not out of the realm of the ordinary for someone to uh, say something, and be like, oh, I didn't realize it would offend somebody, but it was you know pretty clearly uh, something nasty. You know that is not uh, accepted in. Uh, polite company and that loses your views or it's people pull back the curtain too much on their real life like i mean you know what the hell do you care who the hell i am and what i do for a living i mean i'm uh i'm playing romance of the three kingdoms too i i guarantee you i'm not an interesting man um but some people want to pull back the curtain uh like we saw with our boy uh pro jared he's not my boy i always thought he was kind of shit because he's um i get it this is a dorky habit I don't think I'm like super cool, man. Playing Romance of the Three Kingdoms too. Uh, Deng Yai, huh? Do I know Deng Yai? 
I think he looks funny. Uh, and by that I mean he doesn't have the standard graphic. Let me go, let me go look at Denyai. So I want to finish that train of thought there. No, and I'm sure he's a spy. Uh, so whatever, I'm not grabbing him. Because uh, if you get somebody who's a free general but he's really like a double agent, he's going to pull the uh, loyalty of all your generals down. Alright, we got soldiers. Jian Yang. Okay, let's go ahead and bring him up. With 50 gold should be enough to bring him... Yeah, okay. Saved ourselves some serious cash. So, very good. Alright, sorry about that, friends and neighbors. I had to share Father's Day wishes uh, with some of my loved ones. And, uh, and I share those Father's Day wishes with you. Doesn't that sound hollow? Father Father's Day wishes? Uh, I don't know, but... Um, well, happy Father's Day to all the, to all the daddies out there. Hopefully, uh, everybody is uh, spending quality time with their children. I am too. Don't think that I'm playing this and just like ignoring my kids. Although at their age, um, currently, you know, they'd rather play outside with their friends anyway. So, so all I had to say, whatever. But anyway, yeah, I, I, what's it? Let's talk about getting too personal in these videos. Yeah, it's just you know, like. Uh, and I really wouldn't know about this, but I was looking around for videos, so... You know, what would happen with our, our, our friend that our pro Jared, who... I don't know, I never really liked his videos, but... Okay, so he had a, a blow-up with a wifey, and it was ugly, and blah blah blah, name got dragged through the mud, and what have you, right? Okay? Uh, what I would say is, uh, it's terrible, of course, but I mean... The door kind of got opened, uh, by him. And yes, I did do a little bit of a... Let's just take your soldiers there. Very good. Uh, so he's going to sit here. I want him to leave, but Jim Pai is injured, so I can't really move him. Problem 23, Jing with my boy, Yai Jai, with his smiling face. I love this guy. I love his smiling visage. Um, and I need some weapons badly. No, but I can't buy them. Uh, who do I got here? Do I got anybody who can, like, fight? Yeah, I got a couple of guys who can fight. All right, Zhu Kang and, uh, uh, Guan Jing. Uh, they're both pretty good. So what I, what I'd like to say is that, like, you know, I, I, I feel bad for him that his life pretty much got made public. Something really embarrassing for him, but, uh, you know, he kind of opened himself up for that because he wanted to be, you know, a star. He wanted to have himself out there. He wanted to be a personality. He wanted you to see his face. He wanted you to see his family. He wanted you to see everything. Uh, it's kind of, to me, that's unacceptable. I would never do that. I would never want to put my family and myself in front of a camera, you know? I mean, unless it's like some, some legitimate, not for YouTube. Look at Sao Sao. He's just, he's just all over the board. Luckily, he didn't go after my uh, nascent Northern Empire there, uh, which will become a thing in due time. Because I don't believe he's going to try to send uh, necessary troops. I'm actually going to leave him alone in those provinces on the seaboard there, because I want him to still have to compete with uh, Sun Chuan. Maybe that'll be my plan. Actually, I'm really not sure what I want my uh, final plan there to be. Uh, but I do know that for now We're just gonna have to hang with it and just see how it turns out uh, But yeah, so yeah, I just wanted to make that comment uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking out my ass here, but I think it's a pretty bad idea um, I mean, I mean, I guess it's okay if you're making money off this if this is your way to make money That's great But it's not a very good way to make money in my estimation because yeah, you can make a lot but your chances of becoming like one of those like uh, like, who's his face there? Ooh. Zuzu, why are you so disloyal, bro? Okay. Because I want to attack, like, this turn. And I'm not going to be able to do it. Let me look at something real quick, if you guys don't mind. Yeah, I don't like to have anybody in the 90 range. Who would I even have attacking? That's the other thing, you know? All right. No, I really do want to attack, though. Right, let's take a look if I can do one attack. And just have Zhu Zhu here be a force in being for me. And have uh, Chao Yun go, go have at him, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so this guy I can pretty easily take down. I think I'd rather take down 20 if I can. 
So let's go ahead and uh, invade 20. Yeah, because if I invade 20, then I won't need the one-two punch. You know, the one-two punch would be unnecessary. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So, and I like Guyi can't do anything. Guyi, Guyi, whatever. It's kind of funny. Guyi sounds like shit. Uh, so let's go ahead and have Adam. Uh, 300 troops. I think they will outnumber me, but I'm gonna beat them in single combat. And who am I gonna have rule this place? I don't know. It's definitely not gonna be. Yeesh. Look at this. Mi Fang's got like no loyalty. Uh, Maizu. Uh, man, I hope he doesn't turn on me because that would be unfortunate. Because if you actually were able to bribe a governor to join you, yeah, sure. Nobody's gonna beat Chaoyan. Jing Dao Rong is going to get murdered. Uh, Jing Dao Rong's got 80, and I think he's also a backstabber, too. Um, yeah, he is kind of a backstabber, as I know, uh, from my experiences with trying to be some of these crappier guys, or even being Lu Bei and absorbing. I think he originally worked for Lu Du. Or he might have worked for uh, Chao Fan, I don't know. But in any case, he's a backstabber. Uh, so I might just, just go ahead and behead him or take his guys and fire him That's probably a better thing because I think he's got a full complement of a hundred Yep So I think that's what I'll do um, So Gong Z managed to survive his uh, lord got killed uh, Right at the beginning. It's just those two Gong Z and uh, Jian I can't remember his name offhand, but he's total crap. All right, I don't want to fight this guy in a frickin uh, in a, in a fort. I know he probably can't compete, but I still don't want to do it. You know what I mean? I'm like, uh, I guess that's, uh, what's the word for it? A little bit obsessive on my part. I try to lower my amount of casualties, save money, and then also, I just want to try to do a good uh, strategy here. Uh, Kiao Yu, of course, uh, was an advisor, or maybe it was his brother, Kiao Liang, I don't know. The Kiao family is definitely, they were in with uh, Lu Biao. Uh, who just kind of stood around for a while, but was nice to Lu Bei. And then uh, Lu Kong took over instead of Lu, the other guy. I can't remember the other son, the older son of uh, Lu Biao. But anyway, he was passed over in favor of a different brother, and this different brother eventually, uh, or just chose to surrender to Cao Cao and become a vassal. But Cao Cao uh, had him executed anyway, just to make sure there was no issues. Uh, so Cao, that's how Cao Cao got Jing Zhao, at least in the story, or at least parts of Jing Zhao. Uh, eventually, Lu Bei was able to win that from him. All right, let's keep moving. I'm so used to like Ultima. So when you start moving and then you decide you want to do something else, like you lose your turn. Like, you, you get no, the game does not recognize, oh, gosh darn it, that was stupid. The game does not recognize your right to reconsider your choice in uh, Ultima, which I just, I, I finished, I didn't make a video of that just because it was my first time winning it. And I like to, if I play games through, uh, I like to uh, be playing a game that I'm very familiar with so that I can give you a good let's play and not like me fumbling around. Because uh, I'm sure that would be frustrating. I know it's frustrating to me when I watch somebody play a game that I'm better at them at. Or at least I just do it differently or something like that. I don't want to sound like a jerk, but yeah. Something like that. Anyway, Zhu Huang here. He's one of the better of the two. Or uh, one of the better generals that um, Cao Cao has at his disposal. So if we could capture him, it would definitely be a boon for us. I mean, Zhu Shu... The fact that he's with us and not with Cao Cao is pretty helpful. Yeah, it was Dian Wei who was his bodyguard, not uh, Zhu Xu, so I was wrong about that. Uh, Zhu Zhu. I think it's Zhu, actually, not Shu. Zhu Xu is actually the you have a 96 uh, intelligence ability who's up there. 96 or maybe it's 98. I don't know. But smart guy anyway. Um, and Peng Tong. I don't think Peng Tong's on the board yet. Peng Tong's pretty cool. He gets killed. Um, but he's uh, an advisor and a weirdo. And they make him look real weird too, which that was his, his odd appearance was part of his uh, description in the book, is that he looked weird. Uh, 
but this is good. We've cleaned out uh, District 20 here, and I'd really like to get it District uh, the other one. I think I might send some of those. Ah, uh, oh, too bad, huh? Too bad. I thought I'd be able to capture him. Uh, but now we own all of Jingzhou, which is pretty sweet. I'm gonna take him. Yeah, why not? Why not take a few of these guys? More generals, more better, maybe? Maybe not. Uh, okay, so up here at Province 2, everything's going pretty well, I think. Got all kinds of money. Got all kinds of rice. I mean, we can start attacking again very quickly here. We just gotta kinda consolidate our force again. And then have our leave behind force that can st stay here and hold the territory. Uh, but this uh, group of 500, which is the, you know, the most they let you attack with anyway, so I can't attack with any more than this. Ooh, look at you, Chen Shai. What the hell is wrong with you? Why aren't you happy? You better get happy, son. We should have a fair amount of money after this because uh, we have these uh, provinces that have these high populations. I mean, being in a high population province is uh, just one of those things that uh, really can uh, help you out here. Like this province is turds. Uh, it's easier to make the people happy because there's less of them, but it's also not particularly profitable to hang out here. There's not really much to be done with these guys. Uh, and there probably won't be much to be done with them anytime soon. So this is my threat right here, province 17. Uh, but it's not much of a threat because they don't have the people here to really do much. Although, Zheng Lao is now fully armed, which makes him formidable if he's going to be defending himself in a damn castle. So a high war ability type guy in a castle uh, can be a real problem. Oh, right, Peng Tong is on the board, and he's with uh, and he's with uh, this guy right here with uh, Sun Chuan. We got Zhu Tai and Tan Zhuang. Uh, they're all right. You know, usually the the Sun family doesn't have. Uh, the kind of war ability general. Lu Meng, he's real good. He's, he's good in a bunch of different categories. He'd make a fairly good ruler. Uh, so yeah, they've definitely got their their best up front here. And uh, we'd, be, we'd be best to watch out uh, for them. In this province, uh, particularly, because we do not have the wherewithal to really fight them. Okay, are you guys able to move yet? Because you need to get the hell out of here. Good. Okay, absolutely excellent that we can get the hell out of here. And we'll go ahead and fill that in eventually with some of our uh, captured generals. Uh, that'll be great. All right, anybody to reward here? No. Yeah, Jai, you're not all that loyal, are you? Yeah, well, nobody's perfect, right? Whoa, it's November. We need to give some rice, but the problem is we don't have the rice to give. So, one thing we might want to do is go ahead and send some uh, rice here so that we can uh, go ahead and rectify that situation. We've got some good fighters here, uh, and they're going to need to get into some good fights. We need to send some generals down here, actually, as well. He's only got four generals, which we could afford to have more. All right, who do we got here? Do we got anybody who's, like, loyal right off? The no, we don't. Okay, these guys are both... Injured. I'm just gonna friggin' leave him there. <laughs> um, it's probably not the best idea. Uh, we'll just leave everything with them. Because we've got plenty. Uh, who's more charming? You. Alright, well don't turn sides on me. Otherwise I'll just have to go right back in and crush them again. Uh, they don't have any soldiers, so that won't be too hard to take them out. And there we go. There's our new province. Let's see. What Sao Sao is up to? Yeah, I really don't want Sun Chuan to come jumping in on me. Sun Chuan usually isn't all that um, aggressive, and if he is aggressive, he's generally aggressive against Sao Sao. But he's not programmed to be all that aggressive. Um, and there's no real advantage to having a cease. Ah, oh, Chen Lan, you gonna take him off me? Nope. No, nobody's been successful in taking my guys. Which is good. Appreciate that. Sao Sao is preparing to attack us. Duh. Yeah, you said it. You said it, pal. Alright, who's my... Oh yeah, let's go ahead and cut this video off because now we're like 23 minutes. Okay, see you next one. Bye-bye.